Hi there, in this video we're going to go through activity 2, series resistors, investigation number 1. Now this again was an activity based on an every circuit circuit. In the previous video, I interacted with the every circuit app on a mobile device. In this video, I'm going to interact with it on a desktop device, in this case in the Chrome browser. Now just in case you are working in the Chrome browser, this video will give you some tips and tricks about how to effectively use the Every Circuit app inside the Chrome browser. So as normal, make sure that you have either downloaded or logged in to the Every Circuit app. And uh, in this case, we're going to need to go to the community space and look for the circuit called NOC underscore series resistors. So, I have already opened up the Every Circuit app here in my Chrome browser, and I'm going to go to the community space by clicking on this icon over here. And inside this box, I'm going to type NOC series resistors and search for that. Now I get a number of circuits, but the one that I want is this one with the exact name NOC series resistors. So I'm going to click on that circuit and it's going to load it up for us. Now I can uh, zoom in and zoom out of this using my mouse and a click and drag will move the circuit around in case it is not big enough for you to see clearly. Let's go back to the worksheet. So inside the circuit it says it's powered by a 12 volt battery and has three resistors in it and the resistance values are 1 kilo ohm which is the same as 1000 ohms, 250 ohms and 250 ohms. So here we can see the 12 volt battery, the 12 volt uh, voltage source. There is the one kilo ohm resistor, and here are the two 250 ohm resistors. Now the first question it asks us is what is the current through each resistor? And why is the current through each resistor the same? Well, we can see it's written here in green that the current through each resistor the 1 kilo ohm and the 250 ohm resistors are all 8 milliamps. Why is the current the same? Well, the way to think about this is that there is only one path for the current to flow. Uh, and in this case, that current happens to be 8 milliamps. Now, because there's only one path for the current to flow, it has to be the same current in all parts of the circuit. Think of this like pulling a string around a pillar. As you pull the string around the pillar, each part of that string is going to have to move at exactly the same rate as every other part of that string. The same is true here for the electrons flowing through the wire. Remember that the current is simply a measure of the number of electrons moving across or past a certain point in a given time, the given time being one second. So this tells us that every second the same number of electrons is flowing through every part of the circuit. And that makes sense because there is only one path for that current to flow. The second question says, it says, using Ohm's law, calculate the total resistance in the circuit. Remember to convert milliamps into amps before doing your calculations. So let's go ahead and do that calculation. Now, Ohm's law, remember, gives us the mathematical expression of uh, current is equal to voltage over resistance, or resistance is equal to voltage over current, or voltage is equal to current times resistance. In this case, we want to calculate the total resistance in the circuit. So the total resistance is the given voltage divided by the given current. We know that the voltage is 12 volts. We know that the current in amps, remember we have to convert the 8 milliamps into amps, is 0 0.08 amps. If you do that calculation on a calculator, you get a total of 1,500 ohms. Now it asks us, how does this compare to the individual resistances of the resistors. Well, let's take a look. The total resistance, remember, was 1,500. And we can see that uh, this resistance here is 1,000, and these two resistors are 250 ohms each, so if we just simply added them up, 1,000 plus 250 
plus another 250, we get the same result. We get that the total resistance is 1,500 ohms. So it looks like in this circuit, which is a series circuit, to find the total resistance, we simply need to add up each of the resistance values of each of the resistors. Now, it says, using Ohm's law, calculate what total circuit resistance would be necessary for a current of 6 milliamps to flow. So let's go ahead and do that calculation. Now, uh, we want 6 milliamps to flow in our circuit. So we know that uh, we have to find the resistance, voltage divided by current. We know that the voltage is going to be 12 volts. That hasn't changed, but the current we now want to flow is 6 milliamps. Changing that to amps, 0 0.006 amps, put that in a calculator and we will get a value of 2,000 ohms. So we've increased the total resistance by 500 ohms in order to decrease the current from 8 milliamps to 6 milliamps. So the total circuit resistance must be 2,000 ohms. Now it says change the resistance value of one of the resistors. So that, a six, so that a current of 6 milliamps flows in the circuit. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to choose uh, this resistor over, oops. I'm going to choose this resistor over here. Now remember, I want to increase the total circuit resistance from 1500, 1500 to 2000. So that's an increase of 500 ohms. So there's my spanner icon that I can use to adjust the resistance value, and I'm going to increase this by 500 ohms. In other words, I'm going to take it all the way to 750. Oops, too much. I'm going to use this minus sign just to reduce it to exactly 750 ohms. And now we can see that the current flowing through the circuit is, in fact, 6 milliamps.